Well, 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 well. Mr. Raj got back up and running, started making some new videos to try and help people. Get you to understand, everyone out there, all you watchers and listeners, even though there's only 17 views, so nobody watched it very much, somebody did. Let's look at that somebody. Whether it be a paid YouTuber slash Google hack, or a troll, or just a regular, I don't know what to term it. Is it a Freemason? Is it a Satanist? Is it an atheist? Is it an agnostic? This is the only comment that's been left from a David Edwards. Anybody ever heard of this guy with the little D2 logo here? Let's see. Read your Bible. The voice of the bigot is actually the voice of the Antichrist. To say that Freemasonry worships Lucifer is irrational. And the statement of not only the bigots among us, but also those that selectively interpret their Bible in contravention of the messages and guidance it contains. These are truly sick people. But they do have a perfect right to express their views, which, based on Pauline Christianity, and equally as extremist as vocal atheists and Islamics. Their points of view should be analyzed scientifically and objectively, only then will you understand that no intelligent person can allow themselves to be misled by contributions such as this. So, he has directed this at me, and he has called me without calling me, but the meaning is still there. I am not an intelligent person. I am misleading. I am sick. And my statements are irrational. And I'm also a bigot. So, <clears throat> personally, I'm going to say this person, based, based upon what they have just written, is a troll. And not only a troll, you certainly aren't a Christian. Because if you read your Bible, you would plainly see that Christ does speak out against witchcraft. And if you knew anything about things, like I was trying to say, you would, do, you would know that Freemasonry and Kabbalah are tied in together. And you would know that that is uh, mysticism and witchcraft. And you would know that if you're 33rd degree or higher within the meetings, there is no mention of Christ's name. It is not allowed. Uh, excuse me, I didn't mean to say it that way. I meant if you are a Mason in the meeting, no matter what level, you're not allowed to mention the name of Jesus Christ. So that's not a very Christian organization. And if that happens, they'll slit your throat, pull your tongue out through the slit, take you to the nearest lake or pond, and bury you. I have written this person, I have said some things to this person, all you got to do is read some Albert Pike, all you got to do is read some Manly P. Hall, all you got to do is read some Aleister Crowley, and you'll find out you know, this, this Freemasonry is considered by them a religion. It's not a club. So who is David Edwards? Well, we're right here on David Edwards' site. You can see he has no recent activity, no videos, no playlist, no other channels, Zero subscribers. He's been a member going on supposedly seven years. He has exactly nothing. He is a blank slate. He 
could be a regular person just with a YouTube account that just enjoys going around and leaving these little messages just in case. If not, just in case he is a anti-God troll. I wanted to let you know that there was a guy named David Edwards. And that he had commented within 24 hours of me putting up something about the Freemasons and showing symbolisms on the Egyptian obelisk which is placed at the memorial cemetery where my town is located. And you know, we're not supposed to hate against anyone. <clears throat> that is one of the chief commandments is to love your brother and sister, love your neighbor. But you can show evil and you can show misleading truth Put down statements like that are the deception and the misleading truth, misleading of the truth, because they don't want anybody to know the real truth. So we have to we have to pray for people like this. We have to pray for everyone, even the evil doers. Sounds crazy, I know. Even the people that persecute us. Even the people that want to kill us. Even the people that will kill us. We have to pray for them. So, be aware, as I'm sure you already are, there's people like this on YouTube. As we found out weeks ago, um, who was it? Put the, I can't remember who put the video up. I think I read an article in the paper, too. That uh, they had hired, I could have sworn it said government agents, or people that work for the government, maybe not, but I, I thought it did, that were going to work here at YouTube, and they were going to go carousing around on some videos and stuff, and, you know, if they thought you went too far, it was, they were going to get rid of your channel, or your videos, or something like that, so this could possibly be one of them people. But you never know. I just thought the comment was different to say the least. And timeful within less than 24 hours after I posted that. I showed the obelisk and the symbols. I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention.